Hey guys, let's check our answers from our work today. So if you watched the video up above, which you should have, you should have learned that there's something called the order of operations and you can use the acronym PEMDAS to help you. And that means parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction. And you should have been taught that you can't always multiply from left to right in equations. There's certain there's an order that you have to do the operations in. So let's check your answers today and see if you did the order correctly or if it tricked you in a few of them. All right, so let's look at our first one here. 4 times 8 plus 4. So I know in my head that 4 times 8 is 32. So I'm going to have 32, then I need to add 4. And I know in my head again, 32 plus 4 equals 36 for my answer. All right, let's check my next one. 6 minus 2 times 2. All right, if I think my order of operations, first I'm going to start with P, parentheses. I don't see any parentheses, so I'm going to move on to the next order, exponents. You haven't learned exponents and you won't for a while, so that one you can kind of ignore for now. So no exponents to worry about. The next one, multiplication and division. So I do have multiplication here. That means I have to do the multiplication in the problem first. So 2 times 2 I know is 4. And my next step is going to be addition and subtraction. So I'm going to take 6 minus 4, or 2 times 2, and that, that answer is going to be 2. So 6 minus 4, because I have to do the 2 times 2 first. All right, let's check the next one. I'm going to go through my orders. P is for parentheses. So parentheses, P. I do have parentheses right here. 7 minus 5. And I know 7 minus 5 equals 2. So I'm at 2. Then I have to multiply that times 5. 2 times 5 is going to give me 10. Hopefully you guys are doing awesome so far. All right, let's look at this next one. 8 times 10 minus 5. 10 minus 5 is in parentheses, so I'm going to do that first. 10 minus 5 I know is 5. So then instead of 10 minus 5 right here, I can replace that with a 5. And I can just do 8 times 5, and I know that equals 40. Next problem here. 35 plus 10 minus 12. So addition and subtraction are all my last step. So since I have addition and subtraction all in my equation, then I can just do it from left to right. 35 plus 10 I know is 45. And I'm going to take 45 minus 12. I'm going to break 12 apart into 10 and 2. So 45 minus 10 is 35. Minus 2 more, I would get 33. All right, and the last one here. 3 plus 4 times 10. Let's go through my orders. Parentheses. No parentheses to worry about. Exponents. I do not have any exponents to worry about. Multiplication and division. I do have multiplication, so I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to do 4 times 10 and get 40 first. So instead of 4 times 10 here, that would give me 40. I'm going to just add 3 to my 40, and that's going to give me 43. Okay? I know this is tricky. We'll do some more work with this next week. Okay? It's important that you can remember PEMDAS, or you can also learn the phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally to help you. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, and that stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction.